Amy T. Walt here, loving this sensational winter weather that keeps us all on our toes. And that's an understatement. Here's this week's good news with MGN. We've learned that the meals you packed in last month's rice packing party here on Martin Luther King Jr. weekend are headed for Ukraine to assist in the humanitarian crisis in that war-torn country. Again, thanks to all who participated. A few hours of personal time by enough humble servants will soon make a difference on the other side of the world. Our Kids Street kids build a fond farewell to Amy Madsen, who has stepped away from her leadership position as Director of Children's Ministries in order to care for her family. Here are a few photos of the party that kids and parents threw for her, confirming that she will stay in their hearts. But wait, she's not going anywhere. She and her family will still be a part of Messiah Church, and we look forward to enjoying her vocal talents with us starting this summer. Director Kari Stern is continuing the legacy of great programming for kids at Messiah Church with the help of a host of parent and non-parent servants assisting her in this important work for God's kingdom. Here's some good news that ranges all the way to Kenya, Africa. Executive Director Carol Erickson has shared Imara's gratitude for your Christmas offering that is aiding in the battle with food insecurity for the moms and babies of Imara. A new freezer that Imara purchased with some of the funds replaced a much smaller and older freezer. This allows Imara to process and freeze vegetables coming in from the farm as well as storing meat, which is purchased in bulk. Also, Carol shares that a week's worth of bread is kept in the freezer for Amara breakfast since they eat more than 20 loaves a week. Thanks again for your generous giving to Amara during our Christmas services in December. And likewise, in the deep city slums of Nairobi, Kenya, the drought, food shortages, and rising food prices continue to make obtaining food to feed the children at Thrive Kenya's three children's homes very dire. John Harmon, working on behalf of Thrive Kenya, has met with area officials of food agencies such as Laughter of Hope to arrange for increased food donations. Apparently, due to the food shortages, more children are being abandoned in this area and just in the last two weeks, the homes have taken in 11 newly abandoned children, including five infants. Learn more about what Thrive Kenya is doing to assist in caring for kids on the streets of Nairobi when John returns next weekend. A week ago, more than 50 people shared lunch and made new friends while discussing what inclusion at Messiah Church means to them, all gathered around tables of five or six people each. For two hours, conversations were shared and relationships deepened as we listened to stories that have shaped everyone's lives and perspectives. Finally, Church on the Go returned today and will remain available for you to catch on YouTube or our website. Remember, Church on the Go is our shortened online-only worship offering that follows our all-church Lenten study of the Gospel of Luke. It includes a welcome, scripture, message, and music, all in only 30 minutes. Church on the Go will be available during these six weeks of Lent, and you are encouraged to pass it to someone that needs a lift or would like to sample what Messiah has to offer in a concise time frame. Take a peek and forward the link to someone that you care about. Amy T. Walt, happy to have shared with you some of the good news from Messiah Church in the last week, because we can all benefit from a little good news. news.